What determines a, a ripe Verdicchio grape? Well, the um, one thing is, which which uh, I think is uh, I think is quite. Wow, <laughs> this is a good shake. Oh, in the morning. Ah, that's how you wake up in the morning. <laughs> yeah, Holy exactly. moly! I'm right next to basically a tree trunk, but this is an. A beautiful example of an old vine and what make old vines so interesting to, to wine nerds like myself is they each have their own personality. Michele was telling me earlier that you have to be the highest level pruner to even come work in this vineyard because every vine has to be pruned differently. The wines that these produce, and, and Verdicchi is really interesting because it's a non-aromatic varietal, but what it has is texture. And these old vines produce wines of immense texture, richness, uh, and density that I think make Verdicchio, in my opinion, one of the, the greatest white wines of not just Italy, but the world. And it's something that I think more people should be checking out. One, because it's inexpensive, and two, because it's delicious. The other thing that's really cool about this area is you can see the wind blowing. It's warm, it's summertime. We're in the middle of, of central Italy, but they're growing these amazing white varietals that have killer acidity. They're vibrant in the glass. They leap out of the glass with this freshness. And it's because of this wind coming down these valleys, even though there's so much sun, which gets the grapes ripe. But again, it's all about balance. Being a grape is like being Goldilocks. It can't be too hot, can't be too cold. It has to be just right. And they've planted these vines for thousands of years here and figured out what is just right and check out Vigna Vecchia Old Vines, and uh, I think you'll be pretty psyched. Lots of bugs here.